Hey y'all, it's me Austin here from RC Productions back in another video. So I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing. Well, this is really going to be an unboxing video, but I'm really going to show you guys uh, what this the uh, what the Hubson X4 comes in. Now right off the bat, you have this beautiful, durable thing that this durable uh, box right here, or this uh, I guess where the controller and all the product or where all the stuff comes in or the quadcopter the controller and charging cord and the extra spare props along with the uh, prop remover tool uh, this is what it comes in it's this can actually be used as a carrying case it's made out of plastic so it's very durable and all that so it can be used as a carrying case which I always like uh, except there is a little bit I don't know what was supposed to come in there I think that was supposed to have been a battery just to be put in there but apparently it's in the quadcopter as you guys can tell, um, I've been using this outside, and this thing does very well outside. Though I am trying to figure out why my quadcopter goes backwards all the time. Uh, it seems that no matter what I do, I try doing the trim on the ailerons control, but um, I can't seem to cover it in one spot. So maybe I need to work on the trimming a little bit before I uh, before I start flying it again. But um, I promise you, the guys, that there will be a uh, there will be a, a flight video coming out hopefully soon. So what's really cool about this, uh, I didn't notice that first, you have this prop removable tool, which is always nice. I'm glad that Hoopson has included that. Um, so this is basically how you remove the props. Uh, if you can't get it with your fingers, which I don't recommend using it with your fingers because you're going to end up breaking the shaft that's on that connects between the, uh, the rotor and the uh, motor. So you don't want to do that. So you want to use this. And it comes with four spare props, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's metal, so it's not made out of plastic, so it'll be lasting for a long time. And as I explained in my review, this is the controller. Um, I have not took the plastic off. I'm keeping that on to prevent any scratches from getting on the screen. Um, if you turn this on... As I explained, there's the LCD display. It shows you your battery indicator, and also these are your trim, uh, your trim, uh, whatever you want to call it, the trim uh, indicators. Um, now, this is actually the upgraded version. The older version used to have an antenna, but this is actually the upgraded version. The, the last version uh, had the long antenna, but this one doesn't. And at first... I essentially thought that this was a counterfeit, or I don't know if niche essentially is right, but I initially thought that uh, this was came with the, uh, that it was a counterfeit, but it was not, it was a complete legitimate one. I don't see anything on here that would make it a counterfeit, so which is always a, a nice thing. Over here, you come with a charging cable, and as I explained in my last video, the charge time would take up 30 minutes, so you get about 6 to 8 minutes of fly time. Now... A lot of people are a little bit confused on what to do. Now, with the with this, now there are a couple of things that the instruction manual has explained that I want to basically explain on. Number one, do not let your your uh, your battery in the quadcopters that will decrease the uh, the uh, flight time or decrease the, the battery will eventually be bad. And don't overcharge with the amount of battery. Um, the instruction manual also said to take good care of lithium ion batteries, so the so instruction manual said to make sure that you have at least, um, to make sure that you're on a surface that will, in the case of lithium ion battery explodes, it wants to be on a surface that's not flammable. If you put it on wood or on carpet, that's the worst thing you could ever have because that would eventually have your entire house on fire. Uh, since carpet burns more easier. So you have to make sure it's on a hard surface. It cannot be on a wood hardened surface like a desk. It has to be something that is completely solid, such as a table or a kitchen table or anything like that, or a coffee table. So just take note that you're not, just don't overcharge with the amount of battery. I've explained this in my RC. I've explained this several times. Do not overcharge it. And the instruction manual also said to make sure that you do not charge the battery if it's swelled up. So... If it's punctured, don't use it. Get a brand new one and don't throw it away because you want to make sure that it's on. That's a get to the landfill and have that truck, have that truck being exploded. So don't allow to throw this away. You don't want. You don't know what's going to happen to it. It ends up in a landfill. 
Um, so yeah, I guess that concludes the, uh, the, um, that. So, with that out of the way, I'm actually going to show you the basic functions. Now, there are settings you can change regarding the rates and the sensitivity settings, which I'm going to be going, I'm which I'm going to be showing in this video. So, if, for instance, like, the thing is that in order for you to change the settings, you have to plug in the quadcopter. However, it will still work by the controller is on and the quadcopter is on. You always disconnect it and it will still be on. So, I'll be right back and I'm going to show you the sensitivity settings. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, the sensitivity settings. Now, in order to get the sensitivity settings, you have to, first of all... Here's the settings. Now, in order to change the sensitivity settings, you have to, uh, I don't know why it's not working. Hold on, let me try something. Alright, so basically what this does is that this, it's actually, <coughs> excuse me, I'm talking too much. This will actually, uh, if you go in this mode, it will actually switch the, uh, the channels, and you don't want to do that. But you can if you want to. If you're in another country, you can change the, the uh, you can reverse the channels. That also includes the throttle channel and that. So do not do that unless you're uh, in America, like I am. But what you can actually do is that you can. So this guy. Uh, so if you press this button, you go to expert mode, which I'm not going to be doing that. Um. Okay, this basically changes the settings. I'm not quite sure how to get to the uh, Alright, so right over here, this changes the uh, the sensitivity settings. Now, the highest you can go is about 90%. So, actually 60% is the highest you can go. But this is the sensitivity settings, So just so you guys know. And I guess that's about it. I guess that concludes everything, guys. I hope this guy hope this found useful and I hope I have a flight video before too long. And thanks for watching.